Okay, folks. Uh, th there's, I have to apologize. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 beauty pageant controversies and scandals. And once I knew that not only it's not gonna be just about the pictures and Miss America, but it was gonna be everything about my life. That's when I said, you know what? I'm done. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable pieces of news involving the pageant world that left us completely speechless. Which of these scandals had your jaw on the floor? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Intense Backlash – Toddlers and Tiaras Debuting back in 2009, Toddlers and Tiaras quickly made its way to being one of the most controversial TLC shows yet. You're not a stripper, but shake your butt a little bit. So why would you even say that? It produced stars such as Honey Boo Boo, but it also faced a lot of scrutiny from the concerned public. The series featured things like eyebrow waxing toddlers and contestants pretending to smoke on stage. So viewers became increasingly worried about the children's well-being. It's part of pageant competition. They want their child to stand out. So you've got those moms that are going to do whatever's necessary to put their child in that light. At least one toddler's and Tiara's parent faced a custody battle due to questionable actions presented on the show. People eventually stopped tuning in, and the show ended up being canceled twice after failing to survive its revival sequel in 2016. No class whatsoever. How could you do that to a little girl? Number 9. A Controversial Picture 63rd Miss Universe In 2015, a single photo posted became the moment. Miss Lebanon, Sally Zhrij, posed with Miss Japan, Miss Slovenia, and Miss Israel. Seems pretty harmless, but it sparked strong reactions in Lebanon on social networks and in the press. And here's where the problems started. The picture, which was originally shared on Instagram, was the talk of the town for all the wrong reasons. Conflicts between Lebanon and Israel persisted for decades, so seeing the two women smiling together caused significant uproar. They say Israel and Lebanon are still technically at war and feel their beauty queen has made a big mistake. The backlash was so intense that certain people actually wanted Zhrij to lose her title. However, she quickly tried to mitigate the damage by addressing the situation in another online post. Say Mrs. Rail photobombed the original shot and that she had been doing everything in her power to avoid the Israeli contestant in the lead up to the Miss Universe competition. Number eight, Miss Massachusetts takes it too far. Miss Massachusetts. No, we're not talking about the actual Miss Massachusetts, but the competition itself. In 2018, they performed a skit in which a woman asks a fake god why Miss America canceled the swimsuit part of the competition. In response, the figure holds up the Me Too sign. Many contestants were dumbfounded. I immediately was upset, my heart dropped, and I knew that I had to take a step back away from the crown. Miss Plymouth County Maude Gorman was so upset, she gave up her title altogether, choosing to take a stand. Gorman has been a Me Too supporter, sharing her own experience with assault. And as someone who kept their story a secret for three and a half years, it's very hard to see someone mock something that encourages people to speak out and get help. The competition apologized, saying the skit was never approved by the board of directors. However, the damage was already done. Even if people think it's a small thing, it's not. It's huge and survivors deserve to have their voices heard, understood, and taken seriously. Number 7. Katherine Reese's Legal Issues Miss Nevada, USA Miss Nevada Katie Reese was stripped of her title in 2006 after compromising photos of her partying circulated online. Reese claimed that they were from a, quote, isolated incident that happened when she was just a teenager. And when I saw them, I was just devastated. Did you remember the incident when you saw the pictures? I remember the time that they were taken, however, I didn't remember exactly in detail how extravagant they were. However, the news reports surrounding her behavior didn't stop there, and her reputation just kept taking hits. She was notably detained after allegedly assaulting a police officer, and in 2009, traces of illicit substances were found on her things. She was subsequently arrested for possession before being charged with allegedly selling illegal substances later on. This incident does not reflect who I am or who I plan to be. Number 6. Vanessa Williams Gives Up Her Crown, 57th Miss America This one dates back to the 1980s, and it was a huge deal at the time. Vanessa Williams, who was the first black winner of the Miss America title, was forced to give up her crown after racy photos of her appeared in Penthouse magazine without her approval. I wish I could retain my title as Miss America. 
However, the potential harm to the pageant and the deep division that a bitter fight may cause has convinced me that I must relinquish my title as Miss America." This was a gigantic scandal, and it certainly took a toll on the star. However, she went on to become incredibly successful, and today, many believe she was treated unfairly. The Miss America organization officially apologized for their unjustified actions in 2015. Williams has said that success is the best revenge, and she's definitely right. I've got a perfect platform to kind of uh, be reintroduced to the organization that catapulted me into um, notoriety and stardom. Number 5. Tara Connor Goes to Rehab, 55th Miss USA Less than a year after being crowned Miss USA back in 2006, Tara Connor faced allegations of excessive substance use. She was even referred to as Mess USA in the media. Which is very witty, and I'm going to use that as the title of my first book. However, she wasn't stripped of her title like some of the other queens on our list. Indeed, the public was shocked when Donald Trump decided to help her by sending her to rehab. I felt the judgment and the shame, but I don't have to live like that. And I've also experienced joy and compassion." Years later, Connor claimed that by doing so, he helped her survive and get better, crediting him in part for her recovery. The former pageant queen has since worked to help others struggling with substance use. "...to join together and recover out loud, then maybe we can take the shame away from those who are in the shadows and encourage them to step into the light." Number 4. Rima Faki's Actions, 59th Miss USA Beauty pageant contestants are people, and some of them like to party. After showing off her skills on a pole, Rima Faki, who was reportedly the first Arab American to snag the Miss USA crown, faced a lot of criticism. I don't know why people would even consider that she is a role model for Muslims. She's not a role model for Muslims. Though the dancing pics were from a class, her reputation only devolved from there. There were questions about whether or not her title should be removed, though it ultimately wasn't. One thing Miss Universe organization love about me, they said you're not a peppermint patty, and that's their idea of a typical pageant girl. They don't want that. Faki defended her actions, reportedly adding that a Miss USA should be shown as a, quote, real woman with her own opinions. A few years later, she faced another scandal, this time for a DUI charge. You learn your price for making mistakes and you move on. Number 3. Steve Harvey's Mistake, 64th Miss Universe. This is one of those TV moments that makes you physically cringe. Good luck to both of you. Miss Universe 2015 is Imagine thinking you won Miss Universe only to have your crown taken away because the host messed up the announcement. That's exactly what happened to Miss Columbia after Steve Harvey made a major mistake and crowned her, despite Miss Philippines being the winner. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the card. Horrible mistake, but the right thing. The face palm moment went viral. Harvey later apologized, but it became a moment that won't soon be forgotten. Funnily enough, he made another, more minor error at the 2019 pageant when he announced Miss Philippines as the winner of the national costume contest. It's not Philippines, it's Malaysia. Okay, well, let me explain something to you. I just read that in the teleprompter. Y'all gonna quit doing this to me. Still, his career doesn't appear to have been permanently damaged by these blunders. Number 2. Carrie Prejean's Offensive Comments, 58th Miss USA You might know Carrie Prejean for her antics in 2022 when she made headlines for paying kids who ditched their COVID-19 face masks. We, the parents, believe we have a choice for our children. And I don't know who you think you are that you think that you have more of a say than us, the parents, mm -hmm. and our doctors. Mm -hmm. I don't know who any of you think you are. This isn't the first time we've heard of her controversial views, though. They date back to 2009, when she managed to cause quite a stir as Miss California during the Miss USA pageant. Uh, they immediately turned to Perez Hilton and said, ask your question. And from there, as soon as he immediately opened his mouth, I said, uh-oh, this might be going in the wrong direction. Perez Hilton, who was a judge at the time, asked her whether same-sex marriage should be legalized. I maybe would have given a little bit more detail on how, what I feel about it and given a little more explanation, but bottom line is I believe a marriage should be between a man and a woman, and he asked me my opinion and I gave it to him." She later lost her Miss California USA title after violating her contract and not fulfilling the appearances required of her. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. John Benet Ramsey's Passing On December 26, 1996, tragedy rocked the beauty pageant world. Somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, and she was taken from us in a very violent way. Young beauty queen John Benet Ramsey was found dead in her house. Prior to the discovery, her parents uncovered a ransom note demanding upwards of $100,000. I just remember when I read, we have your daughter, it just, that's overwhelming fear. Police were then contacted. After an extensive search, her body was uncovered in the basement. Over the years, everyone from law enforcement to conspiracy theorists tried to uncover who killed John Bonet Ramsey. Whether it was her parents, brother, a pageant rival, or a complete stranger is anybody's guess. The truth remains out there. And it's lasted nearly a quarter of a century. The reason I think it continues to resonate is because we just don't know what happened. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.